This is the twisted chain stitch. It forms a decorative line that takes curves very well. And you're going to begin by bringing your thread to the front of the fabric just like you would for a chain stitch, stitching from right to left. But unlike the chain stitch that starts where you came out, you're going to go up a little bit above where you came out, angle your needle back down to the line, pass the working thread over the needle and under it, just like so, and then pull through. And that's your first twisted chain. So for the next stitch, you want to go up above the end of your last stitch, angle the needle back down to the line, pass the working thread over and under the needle, and then pull through. So again, up above the end of your last stitch, angle the needle back down to the line. And then if you lay your thread in a loop on your fabric like this, it's kind of like a C. As long as you pass underneath the working thread and come up inside the loop and pull through, you'll get the stitch. You want to always pull your working thread in the direction of the line that you're stitching to make sure that you catch the loop around the thread. So again, up above the end of your last stitch, angle down to the line, pass the working thread over and under the needle, and pull through. You can see that the twisted chain stitch makes these little, they're kind of like little barbs on top of the line. And you can alter the look of the stitch by making the barb bigger. So just go up way above the stitch, angle back down to the line underneath your working thread, inside your loop, and pull through. So again, angling back down to the line from way far up, and under the working thread, into the loop, pull through. You can also alternate the direction of the stitch and come up from below as long as you remember to pass the working thread over and then under the needle and then pull through. And then you can switch back in the other direction and go back down to the line, pass the working thread over the needle and then under it and then pull through. To end the twisted chain stitch, you end it just like you do a regular chain stitch by taking that little anchor stitch right at the end of your last loop. And that is the twisted chain stitch. For more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.